In this video, I will explain how to run angle Granger co-integration. Before applying the angle Granger co-integration, please make sure your variable should be a stationary at first reference. Okay, then you can apply angle Granger co-integration. And the second thing is angle Granger co-integration has a limitation. It is used only for single co-integrating equation. If you think there is a complex mechanism and having multiple co-integration equations, you will go for Johansson co-integration. Here I run angle Granger co-integration in A views. I drag my data file, drag and drop, and then click on finish button to upload the data file in A views. My dependent variable is foreign reserve and my independent variable is crude oil price. So I select and I open as equation. I click OK button to run the OLS. Here is OLS regression. After that, I save a residual by clicking on proc menu and then make a residual series. I type here ET error term and then click OK to save error term. After that, I see whether my error terms are stationary or non-stationary. I go view menu and then click unit root test. Here I click unit root test. I'll go with default setting and click OK button to run the unit root test. If you see the p value of unit root test, that is less than 0 0.05. It means error terms are stationary. This shows our OLS results are not spurious variables are co-integrated and they are having long-term relationship. This is how you can check whether your variables are co-integrated or not by applying Anger-Granger co-integration. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.